Fresh brew teas, baby. The afternoon. Um, it's Friday. Let me see what's time. What is the, what's the date? I don't be knowing. Uh, it's July 14th, Friday. Um, I got a special guest with me today, and I got another guest coming. Uh, so stay tuned. I got somebody that's a uh, very high potential. Uh, just Cleveland All Star. In, in my opinion, so anyway, I, I got. Anyway, we got my, we got my, we got my. Uh, who are you? Kiwi God. What? That's my channel. Baby, Kiwi. Your, your your channel was what? It's Kiwi God. Kiwi God. Kiwi God. Kiwi God. Yes. Okay, so who are you? Uh, you gotta speak up. Nazli. And, and who are you? How do I know you? Uh, because um, I'm your daughter. You what? I'm your daughter. Oh, okay. How old are you? Um, I'm nine. You're nine. Okay, so she's hanging out with me today. Going on a little field trip. <gasps> a field trip? And we can go to Burger King? Yeah, I guess so. Stay tuned, kids. Okay. Wait, what kind of kids are we watching? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy day. Yeah. Yeah. Set up. Got a guest at 2 30. 2 30. So 2.30 I got a guest. It's 1.30 and 4. So I'm gonna set up, get situated, get ready for my guest to come. And then we moving on to that. Marco, what's up? No, I got somebody coming, so I wanna I wanna introduce y'all to somebody. Yeah, yeah. At 2 30. Freshly Brewed Teas is this guy named Tony Madalone started this company and he started this company and it's all based around uh, the Cleveland sports but he has incentive I mean he has he's been he's been cleared by NFL NBA and all of that stuff to sell his clothes I'm Tony so everybody it's a Tony. pleasure for me to introduce Tony, Tony what's up Tony, Tony, Tony Madalone Tony, what's up man Tony what's up guys Tony so real quick, Tony, these, these is, a lot of these guys is my uh, designers. We started this program two years ago. Good. So they've been coming in, they've been designing, so they know all the ins and outs of customer relationships. They know all the, the deal with the customer relationships. They know yep. about Photoshop, design and layouts. We went on a couple field trips, professional field trips. So I told them I'm a fan of your brand and your company, your story and all of that stuff. And they know uh, they know a little bit about you, so I appreciate that. I'm gonna let you uh, take the floor. Good. So I'm. Uh, I want to have some dialogue with you guys. I want to learn about what you guys want to hear. I want to learn about what you guys are doing, aspirations that you have for the future, and what you're working on. So I own Fresh Brewed Teas. As you know, this is my company. And if you like the Cavaliers, Cavs fans, 
You guys see Defend the Land all over the city? Yes. So that's a slogan that I came up with with my company. And then the Cavs decided they wanted to use it. And so we licensed it to the, to the Cavs. You guys know New Era, the hat brand? This is, this is New Era. If you see a logo like that, that's New Era. And they do all of the gear for every sports league in the world. I partnered with them for the same thing in, in the Cavs and the Defend the Land slogan. We did hats together. So all that stuff you see, we're a part of it. And I started out, I come from a single parent household. I, I didn't come from anything. I don't have any money. My, my mom raised me by herself and my grandparents. And I decided the only way that I can make it in life is to do this on my own. And so at a young age, I started working at 12. Yeah, so I started carrying a golf bag as a caddy at 12. Started landscaping and doing roofing because I always wanted to uh, have the cool shoes. I played basketball. I always wanted to have things, right? You guys want to have things. You got to work for them. So started my company right out of college. I went to college and I played basketball through college. And that's kind of what got me there. I got my master's degree and I decided I didn't want to work in an office. I didn't want to just sit there and do something behind a desk because that's no fun. And the way that I could stay involved with sports, the way that I could stay involved with apparel, which is what I was already involved in, was to do fresh brew teas. Now I get to work with people like J.R. Smith. I think they told you that I work with J.R. Smith, Kyrie Irving, um, Josh Cribbs, uh, Joe Hayden from the Browns, other players nationwide. I get to work with these guys all the time. Joe Hayden, yeah, so I'd, we did Joe Hayden's first t-shirt. They call him Lockdown Joe. That was something that we made up for him because he's a cornerback and they couldn't, uh, they couldn't throw on him, so we called him Lockdown Joe. But the, the biggest thing for me is understanding that you always have an opportunity and you always will do well if you work hard, period. As Jay knows, right? Yeah, yeah. You can always reach out to people. Social media, we talked about this yesterday. You guys have tools that I didn't have, Jay didn't have, the other guys that I came in with, they didn't have these tools a few years ago even. You guys have the ability with social media and with these phones that you guys carry to get in touch with anybody. And you guys are designing stuff, right? So you guys get to show people. So my question to you is, what are you guys working on now? What do you want to learn about? What can I tell you about what I do? And uh, let's have some dialogue. So we have my older brother we started a little rap group and stuff, so we go to studios, we make songs and stuff. So we finally started to come out with something that you do. We mm -hmm. created our own t-shirts, and it's called No Names Allowed. So we started our own t-shirts, we even printed up, and they're starting to sell. So how can I, as an upcoming entrepreneur, get my marketing up to a higher standard than what it is? What are you doing now? Right now, I'm working here. <laughs> no, I mean, what are you doing for marketing, I mean? Um, like what tools are you utilizing? Um, I'm using most of so the social media thing. Um, so Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Yep. Those type of things. So how can I, as an upcoming entrepreneur, mm -hmm. get to my networking better? The first is getting people that you know product. So if you've got some inventory of shirts, let people wear them, and then get Snapchat video of them or Instagram video of them promoting it on their own channels tagging you and stuff like that, which I'm sure you know about, but it's more of a volume game. The more you do it, the more people think it's cool. And you gotta, like, perception is reality. You gotta make people think that your stuff is cool, and everybody else will, will buy it because of that. Um, I'm assuming you have a limited budget, you don't have a lot of money. Yeah. It's just about hitting the streets. If you can get a little, you know, 150 bucks, you can get some flyers, put some graphics on flyers, pass those out. <laughs> get some more inventory, pass shirts out, do free giveaways. One thing that helped me out is do a free giveaway on Twitter. And the only way that you can enter is a retweet or have it on Instagram, like tag a friend in order to enter. Then you choose a winner, but it goes viral because you're making your friends post people's names. And uh, just interacting and engaging people, it's gonna have to be through your product probably. And so the, the majority of, of that is gonna have to be earned because you don't have a lot of money. But it's possible, you just gotta keep grinding. It's a, it's a, it's a grind. I'm, I've been in the game eight years, and people know who we are, and every day is still a struggle because everybody's trying to come after you now, you know? So, you just gotta hustle. So I started working with Joe Hayden. Joe Hayden introduced me to all of the Browns, and I kind of became the go-to guy for all of the Browns. 
<clears throat> I knew a guy that was an agent that used to work at the NFLPA. The NFLPA is the union for all the players. It's separate from the NFL. When you go into the league and you get drafted, you sign your rights away to this organization which protects you as a player. It's called the union. And I had a buddy that used to work there and he said, if you contact them, you can get a license. If you get a license with NFL players, that means that I can put anybody on a t-shirt that I want without asking them directly. So that's Joe Hayden, that's uh, Prescott, that's Michael Vick at the time. And because of the NFL player license, I could go to the MLB player union, the same group. And I said, I already got this one. We're doing it for the NFL guys. How about the MLB? And so now we've got M MLB licensing. And as we built that, then the league started to take notice and the Cavs, who obviously know who we are, started buying our product. Then I trademarked the slogan and they had to use it and they had to purchase it from me. And then when New Era and 47 Brand and Fanatics and all these other companies wanted to use it, they had to come do a deal with me. So I started looking to see if I wanted to put a store in Cleveland. And obviously, if, if you're not familiar, a store is very costly, right? You have all the expenses of building it out, you have the expense of running it, turning the lights on every day, the expense of employing people to work the store. And I said, I don't want all of these expenses. I know two things, people like t-shirts and people always go to events. How can I take the product to the people? And so I started a truck instead. We can't do a LeBron shirt because Nike has the rights to LeBron and they pay about a billion dollars in order to use those rights. So I don't have access to that. If LeBron decided he wanted to do a shirt with me, then he would have to give me permission directly. He wears our stuff, yeah. He's got a bunch of our gear. I give it to the team because I work with uh, Kevin Love, JR, Shumpert, Kyrie a little bit. We work with Delhi a lot. And so I used to I give the team a bunch of product and they wear it. So we customize Converse, Vans, and uh, Toms. So you take a pair of shoes, pull up like this one, it's pizza. <laughs> You get a you get a white white pair of shoes. We can put whatever we want on it. Pizza or anything. I could take a picture of you right now, send it to my guys. They will print it off, and you would have a pair of shoes with your face on it. Oh, so you, I, can get, I can get custom Jay working uh, shoes. Yep. You go to the first one. Go to the first one. Jordan. They they have to be canvas. They have to be Chuck Taylors. Go to the first one. Go uh go home. Are they Chucks? Right there, custom Chucks. Oh my goodness. Yep. So see, you can take a picture on Instagram, put it right on your shoe, That's and for a hundred bucks, you got your own pair of custom shoes. Question. Customization gives you the ability to be unique, right? All, all of us want to be unique. We want to wear something different. So it may be your brand. It may also be a gift. Let's say somebody in your family has a baby. You put the baby on a shoe, you give it as a gift. That's the only shoe that looks like that, that in the whole entire world. I sell them for a hundred bucks. Some of this stuff is sold for like a thousand dollars a piece. I don't actually design. I have the ability to sketch well. I'm a, I'm a good artist, but I have a design team that does it for me. So my designers are, my two top designers are in Portland, Oregon, and LA. And they work remote. I only see them like four times a year. And we work through communication, through social media, and through email, and through Slack, and other programs online. That's also the beauty of 2017. You don't have to be in the same room. I work with people internationally, too. Doesn't matter where you're at. Yeah, I'm running for mayor of Cleveland because I think we need change. No. <laughs> these, are, these are guys helping me on the campaign. That's Brandon and Charlie. And I'm out in the community working every day to make Cleveland a better place. Uh, I've done a lot of community service the last eight years. Learned a lot about the city and I love it here. And I started my company here. I live here. And so I want to do what I can to make this place better. So I also build my personal brand too. So I can do things personally that's separate from my company and still have a large reach. That's me. That's me. Personal brand, you don't know the personal brand. So we got, what we're going to do, we're going to take a picture together and I'm going to put it right there. Oh. Well, you got you to follow me then. <laughs> huh? No, he got Jared Smith's number. All right, ask him when he, when he get done. <laughs>